Hello, children. Welcome to primary. Today is a special episode where we celebrate being a primary online for one year. Somehow I managed to make myself into a paper doll. It must have been from all the snapping last week. Help! Let me call Anne. I know she'll know how to fix this. Hey Anne, can you come by? Sure, I'll come over. I'm here! Great! How bad is it? My one, two, three clap is busted. Let's take a look at this. Yep, that's busted pretty bad. <coughs> Ooh, oh, look at that piece of gold. Wonder how that got in there. Looks like it has a really bad drainage problem. <laughs> Hold this for me, please. Let's make this shine. Hope you're happy. That's all I had to do. My job is done. Bye. Okay, if you help me to clap. Parents, siblings, anybody in the room. Maybe I can turn human again. One, two, three. We did it! Wait. Welcome to primary. You guys took us in the past? Even though we're not meeting in our normal way, we can still spend time together learning the scriptures and singing primary songs. Sister Thompson, oh, sister this was Lynn our Hudson, first episode brother one Fallon, year ago. And each of your teachers cool. want you to know that we love you. Whomever clapped today is you. magical. Your teacher has or will be contacting you to check in to see mm -hmm. how you were doing while we're not meeting sister in person. Sister Black, do you have any clue what the next year is going to bring? If we could talk to ourselves and tell ourselves something, Something to focus on. Well, what could get us through the next year? You know what? I'm going to jump back to this concept later on. I will talk to you later, or earlier, or again, Sister Black. Let's cover what we've been learning in the last two weeks in the Doctrine and Covenants. The early disciples were called to preach, exhort, and strengthen the members, and to be patient in affliction. That is good counsel. The counsel given to Emma Smith in section 25 is to all. In here we read, Yea, the song of the righteous is a prayer unto me, and it shall be answered with a blessing upon their heads. That's a beautiful principle with a promise. In chapter 26, they are asked to study the scriptures until the next conference. Hey, we just had state conference last week, and general conference is coming in a couple of weeks. Let's keep studying our scriptures in preparation for it. Chapter 27 and 28 talk about keys and servants, the armor of God, and not being deceived, and that Joseph Smith is able to receive revelations. Did you have a favorite thing you learned from State Conference or from these two weeks of Come Follow Me? Pause the video to share with your family something you heard or felt that you liked. This month we are learning the Seminary Doctrinal Mastery Scripture, Doctrine and Covenants 18, 10 to 11. Remember, the worth of souls is great in the sight of God. For, behold, the Lord your Redeemer suffered death in the flesh. Wherefore, he suffered the pain of all men and women, that all men and women might repent and come unto him. Oh, it is wonderful that we are loved so much by heavenly parents to send their son, that Jesus Christ willingly felt the pain of being mortal and to take upon himself the pain from our sins. 
I am grateful for this truth and this perspective that the worth of each soul is great in God's sight. The more and more we understand this truth, I believe it can change our life and increase our ability to love God, others, and ourselves. And that's something to smile about. Will you smile with me? Give me your best smile. Don't be shy. Wow! Look at those beautiful smiles! You know, some shirt clubs are kind of magical today. I want to see what else they can do. Okay, everybody, anyone who's watching this, we need you. Clap with me. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! What are we, a squirrel? <laughs> Close your eyes if you don't like jerky movements. I wonder why the clap brought us here. <gasps> there is the temple. It is a symbol of our relationship with Christ. It is a special place to worship. It's been closed or limited in opening. Did you know that as we keep our baptismal covenants, it can prepare us for making and keeping covenants in the temple? In the temple, we do baptisms for the dead. You can do that in the year you turn 12 and go into young men's and young women's. You can receive your endowments when you're older and ready, and also be sealed in marriage. I'm ready to be back on the ground. Clap with me again. One, two, three. Ah, whoa. Uh. What are we, a bird now? I will not fall. I will not fall. I am one with the air. Feel the wind beneath my wings. Do birds blink in the air? This building is a place of worship where we nurture each other with the good word of God and renew our baptismal covenants. We pray here and we sing. A year ago, we were asked to pause going through these doors to be good global citizens. What a change it was. We miss seeing smiling faces at church, miss taking the sacrament together, and missed our primary classes. Some of us are able to return here for a shortened sacrament meeting. Some of us are able to join the meeting over Zoom. I'm thankful to gather again. I look forward to the day we can meet together like we used to. Oh, this flying has got me thirsty. I need to find a puddle to drink from, or maybe one of those 10,000 lakes. Before we clap, there's something I've always wanted to do. In five, four, three, two, one. It's pretty cool. I don't know what's in here, but I'll drink it. <sighs> Much better. Let's see. What do you think I am now? Any guesses? <laughs> I know. I'm a frog. Probably one of those big mouth ones. <laughs> Gotta blink. Got, I gotta blink this off. Blink. Better. Where shall I hop to? Oh, I see. This is towards home. For the past year, this has been where we worship. It reminds me of a scripture we studied last year in the Book of Mormon about a people who are not allowed to worship in their synagogues. Alma asked them, 
Do you suppose that ye cannot worship God, save it be in your synagogues only? And then later he asked, Do you suppose that ye must not worship God only once in a week? Our homes became more of our place of worship this past year, where we nurtured each other with the good word of God. We fasted and prayed more in our homes. We sang in our homes. Our homes are where we learn to keep the covenants we need. What a special place our homes are. Have we increased in loving God with our heart, might, mind, and strength? Do we love each other more and love ourselves more? This reminds me of our DNC scripture this month. Remember the worth of souls is great in the sight of God. For behold, the Lord your Redeemer suffered death in the flesh. Wherefore, he suffered the pain of all men and women, that all men and women might repent and come unto him. Jesus Christ suffered death and pain that we can repent and come unto him. Surely being home or with our families has given us more opportunity to love, practice loving, make mistakes, and need to repent. I think I know how to end this special episode. I need you to thank human thoughts and clap me back, friends. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my goodness. My arms and legs are very tired. <laughs> Sister Black, I think I know my answer for what I would tell you a year ago if I could. I would invite myself to come unto Christ more fully with a sincere heart, making the time for him, for putting my love into myself and others, and that my home can be a daily place of worship. Every prayer, every personal and family scripture study, every sacrament meeting with my family, those things will bring me to Christ. And despite all the unknowns and the difficult moments and the seasons that will come, I will be able to feel God is there. That's what I want to say to me and to you for this upcoming year too, whatever it brings. Our homes can be stronger in faith because worshiping here is beautiful. We'll be back to church like normal one day. I'm looking forward to worshiping there with you and to worship in the temple too. In the meantime, thank you for joining Primary in your homes this past year. Bye.